hyperactivity. What is hyperactivity? Hyperactivity refers to a physical state in which a person is easily excitable and exhibits an abnormally high level of activity. People who are said to be hyperactive are constantly moving and on the go. A hyperactive person may react emotionally, be easily distracted, be impulsive, and have a short attention span. They also generally struggle to participate in activities that require them to sit still. They also talk a lot. Many people have some of these characteristics naturally incorporated into their personality, but it differs from person to person. Hyperactivity is not easily defined because it often depends on the judgment of the assessor. What may appear to be hyperactive to one person may not seem excessive to another. However, when hyperactivity starts to become a problem for either the individual or others, it may be then classified as a medical disorder. Hyperactivity in children Generally speaking, when dealing with children, hyperactivity is often considered more of a problem for their schools and parents than for the child. But there are a number of cases where many hyperactive children are unhappy or even depressed. When dealing with other peers socially, hyperactive children may exhibit behaviors that may make them a target for bullying or make it harder to connect with other children. Schoolwork may be more difficult, and hyperactive kids are frequently punished for their behavior. Hyperactivity in teenagers can also present similar problems. Hyperactivity and related conditions Hyperactivity is commonly associated with other conditions like ADHD, fetal alcohol spectrum disorder, FEST, and autism. Diagnosing hyperactivity Generally, children and adults who are often labeled as fidgety are good candidates for further diagnosis. In children, hyperactivity is often noticed because child is constantly moving about with a high level of energy. Oftentimes, this may interfere with their schoolwork or even their ability to play in groups. Other signs include excessive talking or running, even when instructed to do otherwise. In adults, hyperactivity also causes subjects to act antsy and may make it difficult for them to relax. Hyperactivity is usually diagnosed with the help of a professional by taking into account different situations in which the subject displays signs of hyperactive behavior. This often requires the help of outside witnesses, especially in the case of children or with hyperactivity in teenagers. In many cases, a child's or teen's teacher will notice signs of hyperactivity even before a parent. In order to aid diagnosis, it's often helpful to get the input of the child's teachers. What should be done about hyperactivity? The first thing to do if you suspect that you or your child is hyperactive is to have an assessment. Many well-meaning doctors simply prescribe very strong drugs without having the patient assessed by a psychologist to determine what the problem really is. Other causes of hyperactivity symptoms can include food intolerance, hypoglycemia, low blood sugar, allergies, perceptual difficulties, nutritional problems, candida, hyperthyroidism, Tourette's syndrome, brain dysfunction, family and or emotional problems, poor discipline, anxiety, depression, and other conditions. Each of these problems would require different treatments and some may even be exacerbated by prescription medications. Assessing before prescribing is the golden rule. If you have already been assessed, diagnosed, and are already taking prescription medication, be aware that there are alternatives. In addition, there are many safe, effective natural supplements for hyperactive children. What are the causes of hyperactivity? In the past, there has been a great deal of focus on attention deficit hyperactivity disorder as a cause of hyperactivity. However, other conditions can cause it as well. Normal young children can be very lively and have short attention spans. Hyperactivity in teenagers can also be the normal result of puberty. Children who are bored, suffering from mental conflict or having problems at home, which may even include sexual abuse, can be hyperactive. The disorder has a large range of effects on children. Some have learning disabilities while others may be very gifted. Sometimes even both can exist in the same child. Hyperactivity can also occur because of problems with hearing or vision. Overactive thyroid, lead poisoning, depression, a lack of sleep, anxiety, or a range of other psychiatric illnesses can also be associated with a disorder. Hyperactivity is sometimes also associated with mania. 
More severe cases of hyperactivity can be very harmful if left untreated, since hyperactive people seldom think about the consequences of their actions. Hyperactivity is often treated using conventional prescription medications, including stimulants as well as the non-stimulant drugs. While there is a place for prescription medication in certain cases of hyperactivity, careful consideration and caution should be taken regarding possible side effects. There are also alternative treatment options available for treating adults with hyperactivity. Making simple changes in diet, sleep, exercise, and routine can help. Even trying more involved approaches like incorporating relaxation therapy such as guided imagery, meditation techniques, or yoga can be beneficial. There are also many herbal and homeopathic remedies which can help maintain harmony, health, and systemic balance in the brain and nervous system without side effects or sedation. These products are known for their supportive function in maintaining brain, nervous system, and circulatory health, and overall well-being. There are also safe, effective natural supplements for hyperactive children available. For more information on hyperactivity, please visit Native Remedies and learn about the difference between hyperactivity and ADHD factors contributing to hyperactive behavior, causes of hyperactivity, treatment options hyperactivity, getting a proper diagnosis. You can find the link to visit Native Remedies at the bottom of this video screen. The statements regarding these products have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. These products are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure or prevent any disease. The information on this website or in emails, videos, is designed for educational purposes only. It is not intended to be a substitute for informed medical advice or care. You should not use this information to diagnose or treat any health problems or illnesses without consulting your pediatrician or family doctor. Please consult a doctor with any questions or concerns you might have regarding you or your child's condition.